All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome back to Your Eyes Don't Deceive You, a brand new bliggity vlog. Figured out what to do with my hands. So, yes, hell is frozen over, and I've made a new video. So today, I wanted to talk about basically why I haven't been making videos, what's been eating at me for a while, and what's gonna be going on in the future. So, let's get right into it. Last night, I went live for a few minutes to just kind of air out some grievances and just talk about stuff that's been going on with me. And I think, you know, I felt really good about talking about that stuff. So today I'll just give you kind of a more concise version of what we went over, as best I can anyway. So obviously one of the main factors in me stepping away from YouTube for a while is life. You know, I have a full-time job now and it's a lot more difficult for me to find time to, to work on, on these videos like I did when I was in university or otherwise had more free time. But now that I have full-time work and other commitments as well, it's harder and harder for me to sit down and make these videos like I used to. But another more important reason that I haven't really been making videos lately, a lot of stuff going on upstairs, namely a lot of insecurity as it involves my channel and social media status, if you will. You see, I've, I've taken this time off to just sort of reflect on a lot of things, and I've gone to a lot of these networking events out in Japan, I've talked with a lot of people of, don't want to call them influencers necessarily, but of higher social media status than myself. And I've just kind of come to the realization that these numbers don't really mean anything. You know, like sub counts don't matter, view counts don't matter. I mean, they only matter in the context of maybe securing ad deals or something like that. But in the grand scheme of things, they don't really matter all that much. But I let that sort of dictate my actions as it involves me making content on here or even talking with people with higher sub counts, view counts than myself. And it just gave me an overall negative feeling whenever I would think about making a video because it would always be of like, well, I haven't made a video in a while and I'm probably gonna get, you know, 200, maybe 300 people tuning in. So like, why put in the effort? Why bother, right? When I could just edit somebody else's video, make a couple bucks and at least feel productive about my day or go hang out with some friends or go to a networking event and maybe something will will come of that. The longer that I put it off, the louder that voice got because it went from, well, you've been gone for a week. Well, you've been gone for two weeks. Well, you've been gone for a month. Well, you've been gone for two months. Now, gone for three months, going on four. Thankfully, there won't be four months after this video comes out. But it just kind of, grew out of control as far as like, what do I want to say? And come on here and have, be my return to form video, you know? And I just felt like a lot of insecurity and stuff stemmed from those numbers, you know, the view counts, sub counts, stuff like that. I just felt like, you know, I didn't have the right to talk to people higher than myself and I didn't you know what's the use of making my own video that's only going to reach a couple hundred people when I could just edit somebody else's video and they'll reach tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of people it seemed like a waste of time but you know I've gotten some messages and like I said I've been talking with some other people about things and it seems like my videos have had an effect on on people and just my 
personality and techniques and, you know, skills, I guess, have had a positive effect on people. And it's allowed me to sort of get over myself as far as worrying about the numbers. And I needed to take this break away from YouTube to prove to myself that I can afford to stay away from YouTube for a while and it's not going to be the end of the world. You know, I'm still, even though it's just white walls behind me, I'm still in Japan, still in the same place I was at just a few months ago, still working the same job. And, you know, I'm still here. So I just needed to take that time away to recalibrate myself and in addition to getting a lot of that metric chasing out of my system, you know, I just, I realized that I just miss making videos, you know, just plain and simple. I miss, I miss making videos. I miss talking with you guys. I miss chatting in, in the comments of, of live streams and hell, I even miss making video editing tutorials and helping people or talking about my experiences living in Japan, whether it's now as a working class member of society here, well, guidance society, I guess, or being as a study abroad student, or being stationed here as a member of the US military. I just, I miss that. And the more I let metrics get in the way, the, the more I just got depressed and I got away from the reason that I even wanted to do YouTube in the first place and that was to connect with people and to help people. Even all those years ago, that's what I had in mind because I was just a lonely kid from rural Ohio. You know, most of my friends had either moved out of town or they had moved on with their lives and I didn't really have anybody else to really talk to, you know? And I just put videos out there to see if I could reach people, and I'm happy to say that I've succeeded in that. And I just, I just miss that. Just making videos to make videos. Not, not with any sort of metric endgame in sight, you know? I just. Some people might ask me, well, you know, what's, what's the end game? You know, what's, why are you doing this? What's the, the goal? And I always feel like I have to give some sort of, you know, arbitrary goal like, oh, I want to hit 100,000 subscribers. Oh, I want to get a, th I know, a million subscribers or I want to do YouTube full time or something like that. And, you know, it's just, it's nice to have goals, don't get me wrong, and if those are your goals, then that's fine too. But for me, I just wanna make videos, you know? So to be able to do that more and more effectively, that's what I should aim my goals for. I think that I should just get back to making stuff that I like and talking about things that I, that I like and getting back to helping people and, you know, getting back to my roots, as it were. And, you know, I've taken this time away and gotta say, I really miss it. So, I do want to come back. I have just a whole bunch of ideas, of videos that I wanna do, but you guys know me. <laughs> There's not gonna be a schedule or anything like that going on. It's just gonna be me making videos about stuff that I like. And it's, I'm not gonna be chasing any sort of arbitrary metric or the sub counts, view counts on here. It's fairly arbitrary in the grand scheme of things. You know, I just want to make videos. And yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. 
So just want to come on here, say thanks to everybody who's been waiting patiently, <laughs> maybe, for, for an update from me. I've gotten a lot of messages about that as well. It's like, Andy, where have you been? Why are there no new videos? And here's one right now. <laughs> it's not much of one, but it is one. But yeah, like I said, I have a bunch of ideas for, for upcoming videos. No schedule, no timetable, none of that stuff. But I do want to get back to the reason that I even started YouTube, which was to make videos, to help people, to connect with people, and to talk about stuff that I like. So I'm going to do that. And with that said, guys, this is Andy. Sign up for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Simple life and happier times, spirits of the past, memories of